Hello everybody, we are going to do a sample problem today where we are going to deal with a KSP, a solubility product. The problem is set up in such a way that we're going to try to find the solubility of calcium fluoride in grams per 100 milliliters and the given information is going to be the KSP value for calcium fluoride at that temperature. So that's something that you would go and you'd look up on the internet or in a textbook. And I'm also going to give us the molar mass of calcium fluoride just to save us from having to calculate it later. In any problem like this, it's really good to have a general understanding of what's going on. So we have calcium fluoride solid is going to be in equilibrium once you put it in solution with calcium 2 plus ions. That's going to be aqueous. Plus, I'm going to have my fluoride ions, also aqueous. If you look up here, I do need to balance this. The two fluorides that I need to make up the empirical formula over there need to show up right here. And that is actually really important when dealing with these types of things because that's going to alter the equilibrium expression. Just briefly, I want to make sure people are on board with a KSP in general. So I'm going to start by writing a generic equilibrium expression for this process that's going to look like this. I'm still going to have my products over reactants. So I have my calcium and I have my fluoride. I need that square because of that 2 that's right there. Those are my products, and then in a generic expression, I would have my reactants in the bottom here. So calcium fluoride. Remember, this is a solid, though, and this is the big point I want to make. Recall that the concentration of a solid is not going to be a changing number. There's some lump of the solid that has a particular density associated with it. That value is unchanging. And what we do when we have these unchanging values that constant molarity, is we're going to take that and we're going to multiply it over into the KEQ. So you take that constant number, multiply it over, and you now have something that looks like this, where you have K, I'm going to leave a little bit of room, is equal to calcium, and I have my fluoride still, still with that 2. Everybody needs to be on the same page that that was multiplied over, that solid that was in the denominator. And so now we call this thing a KSP. And that's the thing that you would find in a textbook if you went to look it up. So this is the equilibrium expression that we want to deal with. So this is great. I actually have this number over here. That was given in the problem. And I need to do something with these values that are over there. I'm going to make a variable out of this. And what it's going to look like is I'm going to call the concentration of calcium ions, I'm going to call that x. And if that's x, because of the stoichiometry where I get two fluorides for every one calcium, I'm going to get two x fluorides out for every bit of this initial solid that actually dissociates in solution. Now I'm going to plug all of these numbers in, plug in my x and my 2x, writing the KSP value, which by convention is a unitless number. I have 3.45 e minus 11 is going to be equal to, I have x multiplied by 2x squared because of that square right there. Simplifying the right hand side, this is going to be 4x cubed. So now just some algebra, I'm going to take this 4 right here and divide it over. It's going to be 8.625e minus 12 is equal to x cubed. And then I'm going to cube root both sides. Remember you can raise something to the one third power to cube root. And so when I do this, I find that x is equal to 2.0508e minus 4. Let me clear a little space here. Now if we go back and we look at what x actually represents, remember we had defined calcium as x and we had fluoride as 2x and that's fine. But this would have units of molarity. 
right here. And then I can also use the stoichiometry of this process here and I can recognize that for every one of these that dissociates, I'm going to get one of these, just the stoichiometry that would be in the front there. So I can actually infer that the concentration that would actually dissolve when I put this stuff into solution of this species of the solid calcium fluoride would be equal to 2.0508E minus 4. And that would be in moles per liter. Now, we're almost done because all I have to do is I have to go up here and grab my molar mass that was given in the problem, 78.07 grams per mole. Notice those cancel out. And now I'm looking at a number that looks just like this, 160 grams per liter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the ratio here of that many grams per liter, and I'm going to relate that to how many grams would I be talking about if I only had 0 0.1 liter, because that is 100 milliliters, as was asked for in the problem. If you were to solve for this, you would notice I just need to move my decimal place one time, and so my final answer is going to be 0 0.00160 grams. And there we go. So we've successfully used the KSP value in order to figure out the solubility of this particular species. Hopefully everything made sense to you, and if it did, you should let your computer know.